So how do you find the percent compositions of chromium, carbon, and oxygen in chromium-3 carbonate? Well, it turns out the first thing we gotta do is find the total mass, and then we can easily find those percentages. Watch how simple this is. Bam. So the first thing I'm gonna do is write down the elements I see in the compound, right? So we see chromium, we see carbon, and we see oxygen. Next is then to take into account the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of chromium, there's two. That means that there are two atoms of two two atoms of chromium. I'm combining words. Two atoms of chromium. All right, then carbon. Uh, there's one carbon inside of carbonate, but you have three carbonates, so therefore there's a total of three carbons. In other words, take the subscript of carbon there, multiply it by the outer uh, subscript to find the total. Right, so that would be three. And then same thing for oxygen. Take oxygen's subscript, multiply it by the outside, so that's a total of nine oxygen's. Nice and simple. Next, then we're going to find the mass of the element. Where do we find it? Periodic table. Let's take a look. Chromium is 52. Carbon is 12.01. Oxygen is 16. Those represent the masses. The magnitudes, that is. The units can be gram per mole or AMU, depending upon if you're finding molar mass or molecular mass. I'm just going to plug in the magnitudes here, right? So the chromium atom weighs about 52 units of mass. Carbon is 12.01. And oxygen is going to be 16. To find the total mass, then, of the element in the compound, you simply have to multiply this row on a cross. Right, so for chromium, this is simply going to be 104. For carbon, that's going to work out to be 36.03. And then for oxygen, it's just a simple 144. To then find the total mass, look, all you got to do now, very simple. Just add it all together. Right, just add it all together. This is 284.03. So this was the first step to finding the percent composition. We have to find the total mass. Now that we know the total mass, we can find those percents simply. Watch, I'm going to add a column, and then we can... Do this in like two seconds. Ready? Bam. So what we're simply going to do now to find the mass percent of, let's say, chromium is we take the total mass of that chromium and we divide it then by the total mass of the compound and then multiply it by 100 because we want a percent, right? So it's just 104 over 284.03 multiplied by 100. And when you do that math out, it works out to be simply about 36.62 or so percent. All right. And then same thing for carbon, right? How simple this is. It's just 36, the total mass of the carbon over the total mass of the compound, 284.03. This is a simple percent calculation. It's simply part over whole multiplied then by 100, right? Oop, went back way too far. And 12.69%. Uh, there you go. And then last but not least, for oxygen, it's 144 over then the 284.03. Multiply that bad boy by 100, and you're simply going to find a percent here of roughly about 50.70. And considering the rounding and stuff, this should add up to 100. If you added those exact answers up, it should add up to 100. If you add these rounded values, you can already tell it's probably going to be off by maybe 0.01. But again, it's just, I'm, what, what kind of writing is this? What the? Can you understand that? Well, that's hieroglyphics, ladies and gentlemen. We're going back to ancient times, all right? So study your hieroglyphics, and then maybe you can interpret the videos. I'll see you soon. Take care.